I actually went blind for five minutes at one point. <laughs> hey guys! Man, I feel like my hair is always something so stressful. <laughs> hey guys! Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Terry here. Um, if you haven't yet, then please don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell button down below to stay tuned for more videos. I will be posting at minimum every Sunday at 7 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, so please stay tuned for those times. I'm going to firstly address the elephant in the room, and that's this washing machine here. So I moved into my new place. Yes! Big girl things! But I don't have the muscle power to move it into its rightful place, so it's just going to be chilling there in the background. So if you can just bear with me and just ignore it for the meantime. So the reason I'm doing this 25 packs about me video is because I turned 25 the other day. So yes, quarter life crisis is pending me. But I thought I would share some interesting facts about myself that not even the internet knows. And also some basic things that I realized that you guys might not even know about myself. So if you're a new subscriber here, then welcome. And if you're an oldie, then I hope that you learned something new um, about myself. But yeah, anyways, without further ado, let's get into the video. So, fact number one. My name is Teresa. So it's actually not Terry. Terry is a nickname that I got because uh, a couple of kids in high school called me Terry Cruz after this guy. And it kind of just stuck, but then I dropped the cruise part and it's now just Terry. Oh, by the way, Terry is a guy's name. So a lot of people are like, why did your mom name you Terry? And I'm like, she didn't. I am Cambodian Chinese. I was actually born and raised in Cambodia for six years and I grew up in the heart of the city, so in Phnom Penh and I grew up near Sat Mai. My grandpa and auntie raised me as a kid before I moved here to Melbourne. I am 25 years old, so I am a 95 baby and I was born in November, so I'm also a Scorpio baby. I am bilingual, so that means that I speak two languages, Khmer and English. So my Khmer is not very good, but I'll attempt it. So say that the Okanin yung chmon say wu, chmon kwa nyo chmon say wu, he chmon ong le chmon Teresa, he nyo gat na so kwa, he nyo thwap na so kwa chmon um, madai ming he nang um gong yong he go tan yong yeah. The banang na yung may nang yung tira he nyo um je an at je an kwa he nang at je tse kwa ta nyo je slap ke he nang yey mui ke man. I, yeah, Calvin, I'm the banana. I'm the So I did classical Cambodian ballet when I was a kid, and I used to perform in front of a large audience. And one of the songs that I used to perform to was Neri Chichu. I actually went to a selective entry school, so that meant that instead of going directly into the school, I had to take an entrance exam in order to pass the academics for it. And my school was actually non-existent when I got in, so we were the first curve to ever be in the school. I was actually school captain alongside one of my best friends, Ashwin, which you'll see in the next video. And we actually probably didn't accomplish that much, but we had lots of fun in the meantime. I am a registered pharmacist and I actually still practice till this day, even though I have taken a long hiatus from it. I graduated with an honors degree in pharmacy, so that meant that I got a distinction average I don't know what my GPA was, but it was something around 3 point something. Um, not quite 4, it was quite difficult, pharmacy school was not easy. I actually got a scholarship, not really because of my school, but because of the fact that I was raised by a single mom and had a disadvantaged background. I am very much a perfectionist, but I have toned it down a lot for the sake of my sanity. I am also a stress head, so that means that I like to make mountains out of molehills simply because I just get so nervous about everything in life. I don't think I'm well equipped to handle this life. So that is why I am trying to do things on my own and trying to live independently at the moment because I am still trying to navigate myself through this weird and wonderful world of life. So I was actually a freelance model for about two and a half years and I got most of my jobs through Instagram. Then I signed with an agency earlier this year, so I did full-time modeling when I was in Singapore and it's been a wild ride and yeah, I made the career switch from pharmacy to modeling. But now that I'm back in Melbourne, I am still trying to do modeling, but I also have gone back to pharmacy a little bit. I 
don't drink as much alcohol as I used to but when I was in university I used to drink a lot and I used to go to gig simply because they were cheap and they guaranteed a good time and a lot of the bands here in Australia are absolutely phenomenal and they are just so underrated so a lot of the tickets are still quite cheap and affordable. So when I was younger I actually went clubbing and I tried it out twice and I absolutely hated it. My go-to favourite alcoholic drink is a Jaeger bomb, which I do and don't recommend because it is a toxic mix. It's literally just a Jaeger shot and a whole bunch of Red Bull and a can of Red Bull and it will guarantee you a good time but it may also guarantee you a bad time. So take it how you will. I am a CD and vinyl junkie so I tend to collect CDs um, and I listen to CDs in the car and I listen to vinyls at home. My first job was at a Wendy's and my boss paid me in cash so my rate was $8.06 an hour but he would always somehow round it down to $8 an hour and I would always forget to ask him because it was just chump change um, and I worked there for two years. My actual first job was actually at a friend's hair salon when I was 10 years old and that was probably illegal and I worked for I think $10 a day and honestly I just had a really good experience and I guess that doesn't really count as work but to me it was a fun experience and it was work. My mum never knew about that so when she actually did find out she was like why did you go to work at 10 years old? I don't regret it, I had a really good time at my friend's hair salon travel bug and a travel itch and I always have to go traveling um, even if it means foregoing my spending spree so I try to save as much as I can just to s travel really um, so my first solo trip was to Japan and my first actual trip abroad was with my friend Jen and we went to New Zealand and we did all sorts of crazy things like bungee jumping, skydiving, whitewater rafting, we even did like a giant swing, we did so many crazy things and it was exhilarating and fun and I don't regret it. I don't know if this is a good story to tell but I actually went blind for five minutes at one point and I think it was because I was concussed because I fell down the stairs in my aunt's Cambodian home. <laughs> oh and to remedy it she literally put tiger balm on my back after I recovered my vision. So yeah, go Tiger Mom! Yay, that's it! Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and you learned something new. If not, that's okay too. Um, anyways, I think I will head off now. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. And also, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell button if you haven't yet. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!